Hey guys, it's Sweet Nightingale here, and uh, this is my current uh, Sims 3 household for January 2013. I'll go ahead and introduce you here to my Sim who is doing some martial arts right now. Now, I'm in Lunar Lakes, and this is my Sim Astoria Logan, and she is a witch. Like I said, we're, we're in Lunar Lakes. She's doing some martial arts right now. And I've not been playing this game very long. Um, a lot of you guys know that I've been having some issues with my game since the new update with my store content not appearing. <laughs> so I had to do a complete reinstall. And um, even after that, I was having a hard time getting some of my save game files to open. And there were a couple of little tricks I figured out to do to, to get them to, you know, to be playable again. It was just, it was a mess. But um, anyway, the LPs will be back in action pretty, you know, pretty soon. Um, but anyway, um, I wanted to go ahead and, and this is this is actually kind of a test game that I had, um, you know, just to see that things were going to run smoothly and so forth. So anyway, I thought I would just go ahead and use her for my current household. And she's in the writer career, so she's self-employed. Now she is a young adult. And she just got whacked by the, the thing here. <laughs> She's brave, she's disciplined, she is a natural cook, she's a genius, and she is friendly. And Ugh. if I have like a single sim living, um, you know, just on their own, I tend to make them a natural cook. That way they don't burn, you know, that way they don't catch anything on fire. They don't burn, you know, they don't burn the house down. <laughs> so anyway, as I said, she's a witch. Now she's got magic hands. I went ahead and gave her that lifetime happiness point. That way we wouldn't have to deal with like the cheap magic wand and so forth. And... Let me just show you her house. Now, this is one of the houses that came with Lunar Lakes. If you have Lunar Lakes, you need to have Lunar Lakes to have this house. Here's what it looks like. Now, in Lunar Lakes, the houses are very, very unique. You know, they're very futuristic, very uh, sort of airy, you know, open kind of things. You can, as you can see, we've got like a lot of glass windows and stuff. Now, um, this is, of course, her property on Lunar Lakes. And I've not lived, really lived in this particular house before. Um, I've played Lunar Lake several times, but have not really chosen this house to use. Anyway, we'll go ahead and start from the bottom up. And I didn't really do too much with the house. I changed a few things out, added a few things, but pretty much just left it all the same. Now she's got some lounge chairs to sit out here on the deck. Here's a little sitting area with the coffee table and stuff. And over here, obviously I put in the chemistry set, the keyboard, and a, a desk with the computer. And here is a living room where she can watch some TV. And she's got a she's got a little pond out here to fish in, should she wish. There's like a little landing or something she can walk out on and whatnot. Uh, back over here is her kitchen. Now, I did change out a lot of things in the kitchen. I kept the counters, but I changed out the stove and the fridge. Now the fridge is a mod that I have installed in my game, and this is the the fridge is the fridge that you get if you reach level ten of the culinary career. And um, the mod that I have makes it viable, so you can actually buy this fridge. And of course, I have the Japanese grill and the wood fire oven from Monte Vista. Over here in this area, I just this is another just sort of little area that that kind of really didn't have too much in it. Just a little room, you know, they can she can walk outside on the back porch or whatever here. And yeah, this is like the door to the garage or whatever. So, you know, there is a garage out there. But what I put in this room here, I put in a couple of little counters and put in the chocolate fountain. And oh, yeah, and over here in the kitchen, I do have like all the appliances, like the deep fryer, the ice cream maker, microwave right there, food processor. So over here, I decided to put the chocolate fountain. And there's still the little bench there that um, that I just left. Now, over here, I put in the I put in some workout equipment. There's a treadmill and the exercise queen here. And then I went into the by debug mode and put in some martial arts stuff right there. Very nice. And I think this room I might have showed you, but this is just another little sitting area here. Oh yeah, this is this is the TV room with bookshelves and stuff so that we can so that we can um, read books and and all that. And of course, she does have a dining room down here to eat at. Yeah, here's her dining room right here. And back here again, we have some more places to sit. We have a fire pit, all that good stuff. 
So she does have a really nice backyard stuff that we can that we can do something with. But she does have a swimming pool out here to swim in. And um, of course, like I said, you know, she has a pond. This house does have a pond. So upstairs, upstairs are the bedrooms. And bathrooms and stuff. Um, really, you know, not not too uh, pretty self-explanatory. Uh, bathrooms here. Uh, up here, I put in the alchemy station, a couple of cauldrons, and the chest a chess table for logic. And then uh, this house has two bedrooms. Now I left this bedroom here the same, but over here, the only thing I changed out was the bed to give like a higher energy bed and yeah that's pretty much all I changed out for this house so I mean it is a, a really nice house and and it can be used for a growing family or a family like if you've got a a kid or two you can definitely use it um, use it for that that's not a big deal not a big deal for that so anyway let's go ahead and do some gameplay now um her backstory and let me just go ahead and focus on here again her backstory as I said she is a witch and um I kind of uh, came up with an interesting backstory as to as to how she ended up making it to Lunar Lakes here, and what happened was now um, some of you guys may have seen uh, there's a show that used to be on. Uh, let's see, she's got some martial arts skill, and I do need to get a um, Tree of Prosperity and stuff so that we can level skills up a little faster. I do have a multi tab and stuff, but anyway. Um, there used to be this show on called Sliders back in I think the. Uh, Early two thousands or something like like around there. So um, quite a quite a few years back. But um, the premise of that show was um, there's a group of people that called themselves Sliders, and they used a vortex to get into these um, parallel universes, you know, parallel worlds and stuff. Now um, it isn't it didn't quite work out this way with her, but um, she because she's a witch, you know, she's got these abilities that you know um, regular people may not have now she has the ability to go from you know to go from one world to another like different worlds and stuff and so she likes to go what I call world traveling or world hopping or whatever and um, so she has been able to visit many many interesting very interesting places and stuff and um, but what happened was one day she went um, world traveling and she ended up on lunar lakes and was unable to get back to her home world so she is essentially trapped <laughs> on uh, Lunar Lakes without being able to go back home or use any kind of magic or whatever to get back to her home world. Um, okay, so she's got a new belt now. Um, so, yeah, so that's how she ended up on Lunar Lakes. You know, she just sort of came to this world and was, un was unable to use any kind of magic or anything to get back home. And um, on my writing group, now I, I told you that I do have a writing group with, um, I co-own a writing group with my friend Ian. And uh, I actually do have a, a character on there that, you know, that does, the, uh, she's got martial arts level two. I actually do have a character on there that does this world hopping and stuff. She's never gotten trapped or anything. And, and um, you know, I wouldn't want her trapped on a permanent basis. So, you know, we'd be able to kind of write her way out of it or whatever. But um, anyway, this girl is, is trapped and she can't get back home. So that's what's going on with her. So she is in the writer career. Oh, and I didn't go over her favorites or anything with you. She likes classical music. Her favorite uh, food is grilled salmon, and she likes the color red. And you know what? I'm going to go in and change my... I need to go in and change my um, aging and stuff, because when I reinstalled all this, it put it back to the defaults, and I kind of changed things around just a little bit. So I'm going to go ahead in here and do this right now. Oh, let's see... Yeah. Now what I tend to do is I, I tend to keep, and it seems like with, with um, you got to kind of go in here and do this. I keep the babies at around two days. I keep the toddlers at around four days. Children are seven days. Teens are at, um, I'm going to keep the teens at, 10 days. I crank up the young adults to full power here to 42 days. And I crank down the elders to about 10 days. And then I crank up the adults to, oh, 
We'll keep that at 25 days and that'll give them 100 days to live. I, go, I usually kind of go from the 90 to 100 days and it's still on normal lifespan, you know, still on normal, still on normal lifespan. It doesn't go to long, but it just kind of um, stretches things out and kind of puts it more to my liking. So I tend to do that and, and that'll hold true with, with all the games that, um, with all my saved games that I have. So She's just gonna go ahead and do her martial arts here, and she is gonna end up showing off a new belt. And she's gonna she's gonna level up here pretty soon. Well, I think I will go ahead and get the trees tree of prosperity and just kind of see where I can put these. Okay, guys, I'm back. Unfortunately, I had an issue with freezing and I totally locked up so I had to I had to refire up again anyway I went ahead and got the tree of prosperity got four of them as you can see one two three and then the fourth one back here so I tend to get several of these when I get them and she does have the yard to put them in so we'll you know we'll end up doing that and probably we'll end up getting um the uh we'll probably end up getting like some plant planter bowls to be able to grow our alchemy ingredients and stuff so um i'm thinking i'm thinking i probably will yeah i'm thinking that i probably will and end up putting them like over here by our martial arts that. stuff so i'm gonna go ahead and do that right now because and i'll go over her wishes but one of the wishes is that she wants to learn the alchemy skill so we're gonna go back over here to decor and i'm gonna go here with plants and let's see, I think it was like for 55 bucks or something for a planter bowl. So here is one from Supernatural. Yeah, this is a gothic one. I guess we can get that. That's not a, that's not a problem at all. So we'll go ahead and put, and I do have room right here for a couple of them here. She should be able to get to her board breaker and stuff. Um, so I'm going to put that here and then right there so she should be able to she should be able to get to it fine I hope if not we'll just have to move it well actually I might just move this out of the way a little bit here anyway so that she can get to her board breaker so here are the uh, planter bowls for when she learns her alchemy skill because um, I think we can go ahead and grow stuff in that planter bowl which is gonna be nice which is gonna be really nice and um, now I could plant a garden out here as well. And I, I just might do that. But I'm thinking of the seasons and zombies and stuff right now because um, it is going to get uh, it is going to get like um, we do have the seasons in Lunar Lakes and she does want to go to the summer festival. So I may go ahead and um, send her over there in a little bit. Now, her wishes are she wants to learn alchemy skills. She wants to write a sci fi novel, go to the summer festival and and go to China, which um, I think we'll get her martial arts skills up a little bit. Move. And yeah, she's very stinky. We'll go ahead and get her martial arts skills yeah. up a little bit. And um, cool. I will uh, end up sending her to China at some point. So I'm going to go ahead and send her up to take a shower or something here. Uh, let's see. She can go and she can go ahead and take a shower right here in this. So we're going to go ahead and take a shower. And she did get a new belt. But yes, she's very stinky. She is hungry. And um, I did make, I did have her make a couple of things in the little wood fire oven. I love that thing. Um, yep, a couple things on the wood fire oven and uh, something on the Japanese grill. <laughs> I mean, her hunger is a little ways down the green. You know, I'm a little bit more than halfway down the green. And I might as well just go ahead and have her go pee. Now I could actually decorate this thing with the Future Shock Loft stuff, and um, I just I may end up doing that at some point. But we'll go ahead and have her pee and wash her hands, and then we'll go ahead and have her uh, research some alchemy a few times to get to go ahead and take care of that wish. And it sounds like it's raining out there. Oh, I should have got her an umbrella too and a and a pool lounger. Should have got her a pool lounger and stuff. And I could actually go ahead and get her some recipes on the multi-tab. 
Now, you guys hear my mailbox going off, but I'm not going to go ahead and get the gifts for this one because I want to save that for my LP families. So um, we're going to go ahead and shop online for books. And I'm going to go ahead and get um, I'm going to go ahead and get some recipes as soon as she gets done with her alchemy here. So I got a few things lined up that we're going to go ahead and do. And as you guys know, when I show off my current households, I do a little bit of gameplay, which you guys seem to like. So I try to aim to please if I can. <laughs> and I will go ahead and upload her to the exchange. I do have her in my, um, I didn't, I don't have her, I don't have the, the sim of her actually in, in my save sims bin, but I do have her on my um, household. So I'll go ahead and upload her as a household. So in order to play her, you'll have to, you'll have to go into edit town and then place her wherever you want to, uh, wherever you want her to be in your town. Okay, so she's got an alchemy skill. And as you can see, she's just kind of in her... Tablets. Oh, that's Azure. weird, because I, I put her in, like, uh, shorts or whatever, but um, she's in long pants. But that's okay. She's kind of, like, halfway between everyday and sleepwear, I guess. That's okay, since she's just kind of bumming around the house. It's not a big deal. That is not a big deal. And then when she gets done, we'll go ahead and have her plant uh, things in the alchemy thing, and then we'll learn some gardening. Actually, after she gets done shopping for books, we'll go ahead and have her uh, listen to a tab cast in gardening, which I think is, uh, yes, right here, gardening. I love this multi-tab, you guys, because it's just, Whoa. it really, really uh -huh. helps so much. And there goes our Trees of Prosperity. She knows Flask of Sleep. She knows Vial of Bliss. She's got a, a few more things to research. I'm going to put this on speed two while she does that. And it is definitely raining, so it's not a good day to go to the Summer Festival. Alchemy to level two. Hmm. Oh, and I could put the gardening station outside, which I just might, but for right now, we'll just use the planter bowls for our alchemy ingredients, which is what I tend to do in a lot of my Let's Plays, like if they don't have room for a garden or whatever. I really like this alchemy station. I mean, it is, it is really, really neat. It is just really cool. It kind of reminds me of something that you may see in Hogwarts, you know, because I could see something like this at, at Hogwarts and... Saying that, you guys know that I am a Harry Potter fan. <laughs> I love Harry Potter. And my writing group that I mentioned that I co-own with my friend Ian, it is Harry Potter based. Although mm. we do bring in like other characters ah, and our own made-up original characters that we have. And um, we don't we don't really follow how the books are. We make our own stories. So in our group, you know, Harry and our other characters' lives kind of happen a lot differently than they would in the books. But, you know, that's the creative side so she's got one more thing to research and then she's going to go ahead and shop for some books and listen to a tab cast okay leisure day is approaching okay so invigorating elixir she knows and she also knows ad nauseum so hmm I need to get some of these. Oh, and she's critical. hungry again. But I need to take care of some of these wishes so that we can do more. All right. So I'm going to go ahead and go for some recipe books here. Uh huh. So we're going to go with ratatouille, chili con carne, vegetarian chili, vegetarian fish and chips, um, mushroom omelets, fish and chips. And I tend to get like all of the recipes early on if I have the money to do that. That way we've got them. Hot and sour soup, cookies, fruit parfait, fried, fried peanut butter banana sandwich, um, and firecracker tofu, uh, cheese tofu steak, firecracker shrimp, or firecracker tofu shrimp, firecracker shrimp, cheese steak, um, this curry thing here, cobbler, 
Eggs Machiavellian. <laughs> uh, Corsina Risotto, Tri-Tip Tofu Steak, Potato and Tort. Potato and Truffle Tort. Okay. Uh, Tri-Tip Steak. Ceviche. Stuffed Turkey. Stuffed Koi Soiki. Baked Angel Food Cake. And then, of course, Ambrosia. That's going to take up uh, a lot of money right there. And then let's go ahead and look at Alchemy Books here. Procreation, Liquid Job Booster, Potent Enlightenment, Potent Personality Adjuster, Fountain of Youth, Potent Zombification. So we can go ahead and buy these items. And it didn't leave us with, with much money, but that's okay right now. That is all right. So we're going to go ahead and down here to our planter bowls, and we're going to go ahead and have her plant. Uh, let's see. I'm going to – and she is hungry, so we're going to definitely have to do something with her. We are definitely going to have to do something with her. Red valerian root, we're going to go ahead and plant – uh, plant that. Mandrake root, we're going to go ahead and plant it here. Wolfsbane thing, we're going to go ahead and plant here. And then the red toadstools, we'll go ahead and plant, and I might as well turn back time, or turn time on, so put it right there. She can go ahead and do that. And then we'll go ahead and get her something to eat because she is hungry. And she is tired. Nope, you're not going to deep fry. You're going to go plant that stuff. And then we'll go back to the kitchen and have you make something. See, if you have that deep fryer, you've really got to watch them because they will gravitate right to that yeah. right away. Right away. Uh, you go ahead and make, let's see. Since our food isn't going to spoil, we're going to go ahead and have you serve uh, some breakfast. It's very early in the morning. Uh, well, we'll go ahead and have some leftovers. See, I hate like when, when they get, you know, when they can't cook. <laughs> like if they get in too bad of a mood to cook. So we're going to go ahead and you get some leftover teppanyaki chicken fried rice. You do that. Well, and she'll learn some gardening skill. That way she can go ahead and take care of her little plants. And yeah, she does go on to like a little platform to get to the dining room table and stuff, which is really cool. Okay, so she knows Viola of Friendship. And she's got a gardening skill. Mm. We have 30 gifts mm. awaiting us and a new friend request, which I will take care of. Mm. Mm. And then we'll go ahead and have her mm. clean this mm. up when she gets done. And then I think we'll go ahead on up to sleep. Uh, we should have her go ahead and pee again. Even though she doesn't really have to go that bad, but it's it's a good idea to, to um, you know, to go pee, so. And the toilet kind of hides back here behind the little partition thing. So use, wash hands, brush teeth, and then we're going to go ahead and go into this bedroom back here and go to sleep. Right here in this bed, which is hers. So sleep. And it's definitely raining. We need to start another book. Now, um, on the first day that I actually you know, on the first sim day, not, you know, cause I just started playing this household actually today. But, um, on the first sim day, 
Um, I actually had her write a book and she actually got the book done in one day. So, and then I had her join the writer career. So that's a good thing. Okay, so then she wants to go ahead, join alchemist career. I don't think so. Improve alchemy skill. We can certainly do that. Create an elixir. And she's going to sleep until about 12 noon, but it was pretty late like when I got her to bed, but that's okay. Anyway, guys, I think I'm going to go ahead and stop here. I hope you guys enjoyed uh, this look at my current household for January 2013. I will upload her to the exchange and provide the link for, for that. Look, look, she's foaming at the mouth. Look at that. Ah, They're so funny when they brush their teeth. They really are. <laughs> but um, I'll go ahead and upload her to the exchange and provide the link in the description so that you guys can um, play with her should you so choose. I think her hair came from the Sims 3 store, but I think... Her other stuff, I think, just came from expansion packs or whatever. So um, there's no custom content on her, just stuff from the store and expansion packs and whatnot that I used with her. So um, anyway, like I said, I'm going to go ahead and stop and um, leave a comment. Tell me what you think. You guys have a fantastic day. Subscribe to see um, more of my LP series. And I have several. So... Oh, and the phone's ringing. I think we're going to go ahead and ignore this call. Now, I didn't sign her up for online dating right now, but here is an opportunity. Go to Egypt and deliver one of your books as payment. Okay, we can we can end up doing that, sure. Um, so, yeah, uh, you guys have a fantastic day. Leave a comment, tell me what you think. Subscribe to see my LP series. And um, we'll see you guys in uh, in my next LP episode. So we'll talk to you guys all later. Bye, guys.